quite right. This is talking to family almost. I've been <coughs> coming back. Too close? Closer. I've been coming back to Climate Connection since uh, making a firm commitment to moving into the climate space myself about a year ago. And it helped me network. And uh, I'll tell you the story one to one. I won't bore you with that now. But please do come and speak to me, and we'll, we'll talk more about that. OK, so I work at Qbot. I have done since January. I'm not the most experienced Qbotter here. There are a few of my friends and colleagues in the audience. If you mingle with them, you'll find out. If you want to connect to me, the QR on the side there is to my LinkedIn profile, not my uh, other kinds of social media. So you'll be fine. Don't worry. Follow the link. Um, and I'm going to talk to you today about how robots are involved in retrofit, but a bit more than that. <coughs> I want to, in the next few minutes, help you rethink how you look at homes and houses in the UK. I want you to know what a suspended timber floor is, what an air brick is, and why they matter. I want you to understand the impact of poor insulation. And I don't want to overstress this. This is absolutely critical. It's uh, genuinely a killer in this country. And for the uh, UN uh, Sustainable Development Goals, we'll, we'll talk to that too. A very important way of addressing many of those goals. And then I'm going to be a techie, because I am. And you're going to enjoy that, I hope. Um, the robot is in the corner over there. Some of you might have seen it on the way in. Uh, please have a look and, and prod it, but don't try and pick it up. It's heavy. Um, I'm going to explain to you how robots are part of scaling uh, towards a cleaner, healthier, greener future for all of us. OK, so first, the problem. Um, Elodie, who's in the room, by the way, did this illustration for me. There is a hand. She's, she's our product owner and also a very capable graphic illustrator. Um, so this is a typical UK home. There are about 8 million of them that were built before the 1980s um, when the construction method included having a void under the floor, a bit like what I'm standing on here. There's a space between the bottom of the building and the underfloor ground. And they did that because in the 18th century, they heated homes with burning things, coal, coke, fire, in their homes. And so to stop themselves from poisoning themselves with carbon monoxide, they actually wanted lots of airflow to come in up into the house. And they wanted also to cope with damp and mold and mildew. They didn't have any other better solutions, didn't have great insulation products. Victorians were very clever folk, and they did amazing things, built lots of homes. They're great homes. People love to live in them. Um, but they are cold, and they are damp, and they are difficult to keep warm. And in fact, um, missing having no insulation beneath your floor can account for as much as 30% of your home energy use. Let's take a worldwide look at this. So hopefully most of you are familiar with the 17 sustainable development goals for the UN. They range across all domains, and they're very interlinked, complex. Um, by my reckoning, nine of those can be addressed by a combination of insulation and better construction techniques. Um, I won't go into all of those. That would take us all evening. But again, very open to converse conversations about this afterwards. I'm going to focus on a few of the most high impact ones for us. Here's one. I meant it. 2022 winter, going into 2023, there were 5,000 excess deaths in this country, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, 5,000 excess deaths attributed to cold homes. And there are over 6 million people living in what's called fuel poverty. Um, fuel poverty is basically defined as you're spending more than 10% of your household income on uh, heating your home. Uh, and directly to those SGDs, uh, poverty, good health and well-being, and sustainable cities and communities are right up there. So proper insulation, extremely important. Second point, and we're here at Climate Connection, we care about climate. Um, something like 17% of all the heating, when you count industrial heating, every other kind of heating, about 17% of that comes from our homes. And that emissions output is roughly equivalent to all the cars and uh, petrol and diesel on the UK roads. So I don't think any of us doubt that we need to decarbonize our transport. That's a, a topic that most of us are thinking about. Well, however we travel, public transport, whether we travel through the network, we cycle, we, we use electric vehicles where we need to. Uh, but this is just as big a problem. And so to those SGDs, we're talking about affordable, clean energy. We're talking about sustainable cities again and climate action. That's why we're here. So I want to talk to you a bit about Qbot's solution. I'm going to let this video run. Hopefully, if I click once more, it will do that. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. So that's just going to run in the background. You're going to see one of the robots that's on the table over there. 
insulating under a floor. Uh, you get a bit of robot view. This is the camera view that the controllers can see. You'll see how the spray foam is applied um, using a combination of AI techniques and, and direct uh, algorithmic work. Uh, I am the CT CTO. Obviously, I love the tech. That's one of the appeals to me. But I also want to talk to you about what, what this is all about. Like, yes, I will be open about it. We are spraying a petrochemical under people's houses. But this stuff can last 50 to 80 years. So we do it once. And from that point onwards, in fact, from year two onwards, we're carbon negative. Every year under every home average is about 0.7 tons of carbon saved by doing this. So we've done 5,000 homes in the UK to date, Qbot, and that equates to roughly 2,500 tons a year of carbon that the small business I'm working with is saving. There are only 55 of us, so you know, talking 45 tons of carbon each per year, and we're trying to grow. Uh, I'm very happy to talk about that. If you're an investor and you want to talk about that, we can do that. But the take-home message I want from you is the way you heat your homes and the way you lose the heat in your homes really matters. And robots are really good for getting into horrible spaces that no one wants to go into and for scaling problems that are difficult to train other people to do. So thank you very much for your attention. Lovely to be part of the community.